here to say to the comrades and the people of Uganda, we are with them against the tyranny because we cannot allow any regime in the world to kill people on the basis of identity. What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. You know, I want to share a video of Julius Malema where he is opposing the Uganda's government for their stance against the LGBT. Check this video out and I'll be back. I'm here to say to the comrades and the people of Uganda, we are with them against the tyranny because we cannot allow any regime in the world to kill people on the basis of identity. We are victims of uh, identity politics. We were killed because we were black. Yes. And the only crime we committed was being black. Today, all those who have been killed in Uganda is because it's a community that belongs to LGBTQI plus. As a result, they get killed because you woke up one day, you don't like them. How are you going to identify that a person is gay? What scientific method are you going to use that she's lesbian? All you're going to do is to look at a person and out of hatred, decide this one is gay, this one is lesbian. It cannot be correct that you identify people on the basis of hatred and you kill them. So we are saying to Museveni, leave the people the way they are. It is not our problem. It is not your problem. It is not a problem. What if Museveni is lesbian or gay himself? What if Museveni is going to discover that much later? Because there are people who discover that even when they are older. That actually this is who I am. What do you think? You know, it comes a time when we have to ask ourselves, who are we supporting? Why are we not standing together? Why is it that we as Africans and black folks always oppose each other, but will stand and support these agendas that are contrary to African beliefs? But I understand Julius Malema in South Africa, you know, he is that, that head person of the EFF is wanting to either be a voice for those people who support him that are the European people, those people where he possibly are being paid to be out there and oppose against Uganda. But let me ask the question, what is your reason that you want to go ahead and oppose uh, Uganda and their anti-gay um, law that they have, what would it be worth it for you to oppose them? Why aren't you just sticking in with your South African problems that they have down there? All the issues you have with the Europeans and controlling the your economy, uh, controlling uh, the housing and the business sectors, all of that, that you would want to put your nose in Uganda's business who paid you? You know, sometimes I question some of the things people do when it comes to standing against your own people. This is the ignorance that we have. Now, the EFF has their validity in what they do as far as a people in South Africa. And I'm for that. And I agree with a lot of things that Julius Malema talks about, but there are some things that I'm like, where did he comes off with this?
how does he twist this, you know, wanting to speak against Uganda's, what they believe in their country, what they should stand for and what's good for their people? Why would you oppose that? But when you listen what he says, he sits here and he says that they are against the people who are are uh, believe that the life that they may have been born this way or the lifestyle that they have that they're going to be being killed and and it's so far from the truth he was not speaking facts he was not speaking from science when he's saying that people could be born that way or or people believe certain ways he came with no facts and i'm really kind of baffled at this whole thing of 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 this you, you uniting with africa how can you africa unite when you have people like this who will go across their own country's border to meddle in some of their other these other countries businesses why why couldn't you just say uganda has the right by their laws and their people they voted it in this is what it is this is what's right in their eyesight and we support it for how they decided their country will be ran it's because the question of it is is that who paid you Something to me that's very despicable. And this is the problem that's in America, that, 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 that African Americans are so divided, fighting for agendas that has nothing to do with us, but yet will divide us and keep us from standing on the right, the, the one and most important thing. That's the right for black folks. We will go out here and march for other people. We will go out here and vote for other people who do not have their agenda set on black people or Africans. This is a twisted, self-hating mentality. Now, it doesn't surprise me that Julius Malema, who is in South Africa, who were heavily influenced by Europeans' mindsets and philosophies, would support such a thing. So it doesn't surprise me. I've said it once, I've said it again. South Africa's system is nothing more than a European system. Matter of fact, it's just as westernized as it's here in America. It actually mimics the American system, the way of life, its beliefs, its views. But it's controlled only by 5% of the Europeans. It gets me. Well, my thing here, family, is unless we wake up and we try to unify together and try to bri bridge the gaps of where we stand between these borders, the states, and all of these different country lines, we will always be separate and we will always be standing for others' agendas, ways of life, views, and opinions. There's nothing against a Europeans having how their culture and LGBT is for, but it is always being under the attack by those to come into Africa and change the systems when these people have the right to vote. What they believe is for them and their people. Nobody wants to stand for the rights of a country to believe what it believes what is best for their people, their country. Well, this is your man, not your boy, bringing you another gold nugget that you can either pick up or you can kick it aside. Think about it. Think